Hello everybody, thank you so much for um, tuning in. Thank you so much for your likes, for your shares, and for your comments and your subscriptions. This is going to be a November reading for Sagittarius for 2015. Uh, first and foremost, my apologies for getting these late to you. I have had an incredibly busy month and um, I'm trying to fit these in as, uh, as much as quickly as I can to you. So again, my apologies. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say is uh, I am so extremely grateful for all of you subscribing, uh, for your comments and your questions and um, for your feedback. It has been actually quite amazing for the last few weeks having done uh, readings for October and having so much uh, coming my way in a way of uh, positive feedback from you. So thank you so much. Um, I'm going to get started with the reading. Of course, this is a general reading. So if you would like something personal, uh, you can go to my website and contact me that way and we'll go from there. Okay, so let's start. Let's start off um, for the month of November for Sagittarius. In a position of now, what you have is uh, a card of destiny. This is uh, number 10. It's also Major Arcana, which means it's a very important uh, and significant message. And you actually have three Major Arcana cards, so there's lots of stuff going on on an internal level. And as you know, I always go back and ask my guides for um, guidance and for, the card, for what the card says, because I don't really read cards. They're just meant for me to uh, uh, lock on as a visual. So let me just ask and see what this is. And what he's saying to me, uh, you are in a time of your life where the situation you are being presented with right now is very much not only a new beginning, but is a big part of your journey going forward. In other words, it is, if you're finding yourself in a situation that feels big, it's very karmic. If it doesn't feel big, it not yet, it might, but this is, you're in a, you're in a place in your life where whatever you're dealing with, is got a lot of weight to it and it feels very karmic and when i say it's very karmic it means that it has it, its roots in a previous reincarnation whether you believe it or not or not makes no difference uh it i will i am saying it because my god is uh giving this to me so i might as well say it but anytime i deal with situations that are karmic you will also notice that there is a lot of weight to it and a lot of uh, emotional charge to it. So whatever you're dealing with right now, it's supposed to be happening and it is a big part of your journey and it has it root, its roots in a different lifetime. This could be a career, this could be yourself or how you feel about yourself or what's happening within you internally, or this could be very much a relationship. Okay, so that's what's happening right now. Where you're coming from is a card called Disruption. However, it is in reverse, okay? Now, as you can see, this guy looks like he's being slight, sliced into different pieces. Uh, and there's also a major arcana, which signifies uh, tremendous inner work. But it is because it is reverse, the significance of it is quite... Uh, it's lessened or it's the opposite. So I'm going to ask what he's trying to say. Um, you are coming out of a place where you had to do a lot of inner questioning. And what I mean by that is he's showing me someone who is pulling themselves apart with regards to who they are and what they stand for uh, in life and in their path. And by pulling yourself apart and looking within yourself, you are allowing yourself to be honest with who you are and deal with things that no longer serve you going forward. And this is very much, he's, he, it's almost like he's showing me you being pulled apart into different pieces and the pieces are revamped and reshuffled so that it can be in a proper order and then it's being put back together. So that's where you're coming from, which leads you to where you are right now that is very, very karmic, okay? Or very significant part of your journey. In your recent uh, or in your near future, what you have is number one. 
number one, as you know, is new beginnings. And it says prosperity begins. And it is also significant um, with regards to your physical being. So this could be health, this could be relationship, this could be career, this could be how you feel about yourself. And what this says is, um, what he's saying to me is because of where you come from and because of the position you allowed yourself to be, by reshuffling your inner workings, so to speak, and putting them back in order in a healthier manner, you are going to experience a profound difference in your life going forward because it is going to be based or it is based on a new, firmer and healthier foundation. And because of that, you will reap the rewards, whether it be financial, whether it be how you feel about yourself in a more positive way, whether it be a career way or whether it's health wise, uh, very, very positive movement forward and very much a new beginning for you. And I feel that you, um, you're coming out of a dark place, I wanna say. Now, when I say dark place, you know, I don't mean you're coming out of a cave, obviously, but you're coming out of a place that hasn't always been a happy one. And regardless of why that is or why that was, that, that's, that's not, it's not, it's not important. It's in the past. You've done your work. You're, you are where you're, you're precisely where you're meant to be at this time. And because of it, your future that awaits you is much, 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 much more positive on many levels in your life, on so many levels in your life, okay? So very positive, I like this. Um, in your distant past, what I have is yet another major arcana card, which means you're coming and you're dealing, you have been dealing with inner workings and it's called harmony, or I believe this card is also the lover's card in a traditional tarot, but again, it is in reverse. Now this is from distant past, so it, don't let that scare you. But basically what it says is that the disruption that has been with you or the reason why you had to reshuffle yourself and put yourself back together, it comes because of unhealthy relationship or relationships in your life. And because the relationships that were part of your growing up, part of your past, where not built on strong and firm and healthy foundation, you have developed patterns and behaviors that were not healthy for you in your life. And as a consequence, uh, you had to really dig deep inside and figure out what's mine, what's not mine, what do I want, what don't I want, and put yourself, so to speak, back together again in a much healthier uh, manner. Okay, so that's in your past. That's where you come from. Uh, that's your demons, so to speak, in the past. In your future, in your distant future, what we have is patience and planning. And again, this is very much a physical aspect of your being. So relationships, you feeling how you feel about yourself, relationships with you, uh, career, health. And you see these two columns they're very strong and very firm. And there's this light that comes in between and illuminates these columns. And what this says to me is that going forward is not only is it a new beginning for you in a physical aspect of things, but it is also a time where you will be building a lot of firm foundations for yourself. And because of it, you will need to spend time in contemplation in order to um, decide what you want, plan accordingly, and have, um, have patience, uh, have not only patience, have patience um, with the process and also with yourself, okay? So this is very much a transformative reading. It feels like you're coming out of not a great place but you are exactly where you're meant to be. This is part of your unfolding. And you're going to a place that's going to be based on new foundations because of your work, new foundations. And there's patience on your part required in order to see the fruits of your labor, which will follow down the road, okay? 
So very transformative reading. I really like this. November is a very transformative month for a lot of signs. As a matter of fact, I've done seven now or eight. And every single reading I've done, there is an energy. It's not heavy as in heavy and dark. It's heavy as in there's a lot going on. And it has to do a lot with inner being, relationships. So there's a lot of attached emotions to it. So you're no different. So I guess that's <laughs> that's okay. That's just the way it is. So for the final card, um, this is the angel cards. What we have is King of Earth. And what this says is, generous, professional, responsible, practical. A successful time, confidentially, uh, confid confidently accept opportunities you're offered the Midas touch. So what this is saying to me, um, it's very consistent with the reading here. And what it says to me is that this is very much a time where you can feel sure about the next steps forward and also about the opportunities that will present themselves to you. And the reason why you can be sure is because whatever comes next is based on what you project out into the world. And what you project out into the world is built on a strong foundation that you have put forth. The disruption card, pulling yourself apart and putting yourself back together. So um, not only have faith in your abilities going forward, have patience with yourself, but also accept the good that comes your way because it's not a coincidence. It's not, whatever you get coming forward is very much, is very much a product of your work on yourself. And that's something that you need to congratulate yourself for because it sounds like you're not coming from the best past. Most of us don't actually, but you, you manage to pull yourself back together. And because of that, you have gained a significant amount of strength and in your inner being. And as a consequence, you project out to the world, the strength that's within you, which brings back uh, opportunities that are aligned with who you are on the new firm foundation. Okay. I love this reading. This is very powerful. This is very strong, uh, very fitting for the end of, new, of the year and for beginning of new year. You want to start the new year with oomph and sounds that's exactly what's happening. I hope this makes sense. Again, this is very uh, a general reading. If you would like a private reading, feel free to contact me and we'll go from there. And please comment, share, like, and subscribe. And I very much look forward to reading for you again in December. Okay, thank you so much and I will see you again. Bye.